Around the Christmas season, the Salvation Army is seen at many different locations, singing carols and playing their instruments. One young member of the Salvation Army's divisional band, Carson White, said music is a big part of the Salvation Army worldwide. In the Army, we, we teach music to a lot of people in the community, even right here in Trinidad. We teach children on Saturdays how to play various instruments. and. Along, um, we have music camps during the summer times. We have uh, Caribbean music camp in Jamaica for the Caribbean and even in other regions. But they do much more than blow trumpets. He told us that being a part of the army has given him a sense of fulfillment. As I go around to different countries, so per se Guyana and Jamaica, you see people that people that are in need really benefiting from the army all around the world and the army has been doing good stuff whether you look at it here in Trinidad or in Bahamas where we recently had the hurricane, you will see the army there in a big way. In order to make this aid possible, the members of the army collect money from citizens who are willing to give. I implore people to give to the kettle that you will see at the various locations around Trinidad and Tobago because it doesn't only help you here in Trinidad and Tobago. You will be surprised that that dollar you put in, that um, $20, $5, $100, it would, would help someone even in far off Thailand, somewhere far away from you and you're making a bigger difference and impacting more people than you think. The Salvation Army was founded in 1865 in London by William and Catherine Booth. The founders sought to bring salvation to the poor, destitute and hungry by meeting their physical and spiritual needs. Mahalia Joseph Wharton, TTT News.